You're listening to the Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast with your hosts, Prodigy. I got another fucking three weeks to start carving my bushes into elephants and shit and make it look like Disneyland. Wow, that just got really weird. <laughs> Deuce. Running around with a pink fucking 725. I don't care if you're a girl gamer or what. Stop it. Yeah. Fucking annoying. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Demonic. Tune in next week and John will be going over his bracket with us. Fuck yeah. Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> the Joker. You guys donated all the wood. <laughs> and I'd like to see you lick it. Hey, somebody's like, who was making that rubbing noise all night? I was like, oh, it was me. <laughs> Fair, you're right, Miguel. It looks just like the Black Ranger. You're right. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Hello listeners, gamers, butt mashers, teabaggers, noobs, griefers, geeks, grown-ups, and internet. Welcome back to Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast. Talking video games right out of northern Arizona and on our way to Glendale, Arizona. Once again, it's time for another show. This is season number three, number 230, preseason roadcast. And you're listening to a weekly podcast where we talk about everything and anything but mainly video games. I'm your host, Chris, and this week the full crew is not here, but we do have a road trip recording with Deuce and Prodigy. Listen in to the road trip before and after to Glendale, Arizona at State Farm Stadium for the NFL preseason game number two with the Arizona Cardinals versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Let the road trip begin. supposed to go to what game you know the preseason football game that you know I didn't know you're going to a game yeah I'm, that's what I'm supposed to be going to that today like right now well I'm glad you told me because I didn't know you were going I told you like four times what am I supposed to take care of the kids by myself or are you gonna I, take them with you or I, I, I guess you call a babysitter or something I don't know I, I'm not gonna be here I'm, I'm going to a football game I'm sorry Awesome. I'll just be here with the kids by myself. That's great. Thanks. Thanks, guy. Very nice. This was a birthday present. Fine. Just go. Have fun. Have fun with your birthday present. Woohoo! Finally, the time was here. After Prodigy was victorious in the fight for his freedom and briefly escapes his own reality, Prodigy gets in his car and drives to Deuce's house to meet up for the big game. Deuce and Prodigy are headed to State Farm Stadium. Let's find out what they're talking about in the car now. You know, you could uh, essentially have a controller for each type of game. You know, you have your controller set up where if you have a a click-style trigger, you could have a controller for your FPS and then have a controller set up. I, I wish that, that somebody would do like a like a hot menu uh, controller for like an ESO. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could do like your hot bars and whatnot. Yeah, do your hot bar like on the side of the controller. I don't know how they would do it, but or at the top. Um, like put more than one bumper. Uh, yeah. To where like the, the size of the current bumper is like broken into three different bumpers. So you essentially had six bumpers. Right. So you okay. could use your bumpers for your powers and, you know. That would be uh, pretty sick. Yeah, you, you could do that. You could integrate that to a lot of games, too. Yeah. So you'd have, RPG, uh, you'd have an RPG controller, an FPS controller. Um, instead of spending all the money on a steering wheel, it'd be cool. You know, if you've seen those plastic, um, they have those plastic, uh, like, attachments that you put on top of the controller and it acts as a steering wheel. I haven't seen those, no. So, it's, yeah, it snaps onto the face of the controller and all you do is you use your thumbs and uh, there's a steering wheel that basically sits on top of the whole controller and you just use that. You hold the controller, but you use your thumbs. Hmm. You're driving with your thumbs. 
interesting. And it, it's a steering wheel, and when it turns, it sits there and it slowly turns the joystick. The way that it's geared, it slowly moves the joystick left and right. Huh. I think that would be more something like a feeling, like I would have to play it to yeah. kind of get the feel for it, because that sounds interesting. It sounds fun. But it, I know just from playing racing games, like turning a corner, you know, you could tell when somebody's playing NASCAR on a controller because you'll see their car twitch. Like it'll, you're turning left, and then you see a watch it twitch left, twitch, twitch let left, it go, the twitch left, twitch left, twitch left. Yeah, because they're trying to sit in there tapping on the thumbstick to get it to turn smoothly. Gotcha. Uh, and this kind of makes it fixes that, makes it smooth turning, right. turning and stuff. That's awesome. Which I had no idea that there was an actual community that plays. Uh, those NASCAR games uh, realistically I was watching Troll on uh, some TikTok and the guy was trolling all these NASCAR people because they were literally like like, as if they were actually in in a car driving a NASCAR race doing you know yeah they're role playing legitimate exactly yeah and the guy was just like, he'd wait until they get in a, a turn and he would just bump the back corner and just make everybody crash everybody was cussing him out and Damn, I'm not playing this fucking game anymore. Of course, because they, from the south, they all have an accent. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm not at work. Sorry, I am not taking that call. Team's call. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, I got in your lane. Just because you own a BMW doesn't make you own the fucking road, get shit. He's like, I can buy the road. <laughs> Shit, man. But, uh, but yeah, that, that was funny watching watching all those wrecks and crashes and how pissed off everybody was. I mean, if they're doing it realistically, like the simulation, I mean, the NASCAR race takes like two hours, mm-hmm. two and a half hours to do 300 laps or whatever. Yeah. I... <sighs> Yeah, that's a lot. That's, I mean, that's a lot. But there are there's a there's a lot of those world like communities. I don't know if you've seen the ones like Grand Theft Auto that have like the police. They're actual. They act like oh, yeah, yeah. police officers, yeah. and they go and they and then they actually have uh, other players that are like gang members, and they do their own gang ring. And then the police officers and like it's they literally take their job serious. Like they're real police officers. In it's almost that they autos. they handed out a bunch of consoles in, in prison. He yeah. said, "Okay, we're it's that time. You know, <laughs> instead of getting yard time, you get uh, you get time on the GTA. GTA. Yeah, it's, it, they're training their future policemen, right? <laughs> yeah, those communities are hardcore too. And if if they see somebody messing around, it, most of the time, like the, the guy, will, the main administration guy, will kick him out. You know what I mean? That, well, the yeah. troll. Well, well, that's it's hard because it's like those lobbies are like Call of Duty." Yeah, it's true. I mean, it's it's the same thing as like when we used to get into Call of Duty lobbies where there would be that one teammate that would turn around and, and friendly fire was turned on. Miguel. Just take... <laughs> well, I remember when Miguel and Risky would sit there and do it, but they would take, you know, take out the whole team right at the beginning and then everybody would be all pissed off. Mm-hmm. So I get it, but yeah. It's almost like if, if uh, like WoW had permadeath or... ESO had permadeath. I would be pissed off. You know, oh, especially yeah, if they went into a, a dungeon or something and some healer was like watching you die and you didn't do anything. Yeah. But that's, I mean, that would go along the lines of, uh, what is it, uh, that VR movie. It's like when their character dies, it's it's done. God, I can't. Ready oh, Player right. One. Ready for, yeah, Ready Player One. Like, it, well, it, that's that's yeah, that's as real as it can get right there. It's, once your player's dead, you lose all your shit. And so that, that's actually what uh, Jesus brain fart. Uh, Facebook guy, <laughs> uh, uh, Zucker, Zucker, Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg. Yeah, uh, he, that's what he wants to do with Oculus. Is he yeah. wants to create yeah, well, an um, oasis? An oasis, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I was talking about earlier in one of our shows, too, was the NFTs. If they were to make NFTs that would coincide with the Oasis. Oasis right. And well, of course, you actually spend the money on it. Then yeah. it would be different. You know what I mean? Because then you actually have a physical, in a way, a physical item in your virtual world, I guess. It's kind of really weird saying it that way. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's, dude, the future of gaming is the 
gaming is just only gonna get better. Future gaming is gonna get crazy, dude. Our kids are so lucky. Yeah, see, as long as they keep, shit that we're not as see. long as they keep coming up with original content and, and uh, you know, and implementing hardware with a new idea, an original idea, then I think I think it could be successful. You know, I, like my vision of, of the future of gaming is you'd be able to look at somebody and tell what type of games they play because if you know say like the whole VR treadmill thing works out like with cat VR or uh, what is it Virtuix Omni Virtuix um, if those treadmills like hit the market uh, and I know cat does have one but it's like $400 for uh, for one for your home mm. but if they make like a consumer friendly version like if someone actually uses it and, and the companies create a game in VR where you actually have to perform what is done in the game. So you're not pushing a button anymore. Yeah, you're physically doing you, it on your own. Yeah, you're physically swinging the sword. You're physically, you know, running. You're, you know, gamers could essentially be... The image of gamers could be flipped. Yeah, absolutely. From the stereotypical, overweight, obese, Cheeto fingers, smelling like wet dish rag. Yeah, they would be more know, athletic. Living in mom's basements where these all of these guys are ripped. They look like barbarians and shit. They're fit. Why? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, I'm playing fucking Call of Duty, um, but I have to actually run around the map and duck and yeah. slide. And I'm actually moving, doing all those. I'm actually moving. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, could you imagine you could, like, Madden, it's like, could be a training thing for the NFL. Like, they could actually be using, and they are using VR right now for right. training, or at least quarterbacks are. Certain ones are, yeah. I know, I remember watching Palmer, videos of cars and Palmer using Palmer it. used it for a long time, but, and then Arizona took it away. But Yeah, I, I don't see why not. You know, it's like, oh yeah, I'm badass at Madden. It's like, are you really? Uh, like, physically. You, you can't yeah, play the know. ref. Right. You know? If you, oh, you want to be running back? You got to run the ball. That's when they buy the game and they're, they're about to play the game and they see the coach simulator on top and they select that one instead. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody, yeah. it's not going to be Madden anymore. You know, you're, it's going to be Madden coach. Madden coach, like that. Yeah, like, no one will ever play the real Madden game nope. in VR. It'll just be Madden coach simulator. It'll be like that's perfect for me in VR. Well, at least you don't have to worry about bugs, <laughs> right? Glitching and shit. I've seen so many videos for Madden 22. Oh, oh yeah, I heard it's, not getting it's, it. it's pretty gnarly right now. I right? mean, other than I'm not getting it because that ass hat is on the cover, but um, no, I'm not getting it. So you said you're only going to play half of it, right? If I play, I only play half. Yeah. You know, I get it. <laughs> I would if, if I had. If it's, it, if it's on EA Play, I'll, I'll, I might yeah. download it. But I'm, I'm not going to spend money on it. I'll play it. I mean, I play all the Maddens every year. <sighs> I try to get in the Ultimate Team, but they make it so fucking hard to get, like, the legit cards, or they want you to spend real money on it. I'm just like, no. That's why I just, I pray and hope I open up a good card and I have a good basic team to start off with. And it goes I, back to that whole discussion that we had about fucking NFTs and oh, yep, the away. rarity and, mm -hmm. and fuck, it's a fucking loot box. It's a Madden loot box. Oh, great. I got another kicker. Yay. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do with two kickers? But this one has a real NFT in it, so it's worth something. Yeah. Congratulations. You got yeah. a virtual jock strap of your favorite <laughs> player. It's like, I don't care. What the fuck is that going to do? I shouldn't really say there's an NFT in it, but it is an NFT or some shit. Whatever. It's, I don't know. I mean, if, if like, a like the, the statement that I made in the podcast, if they actually do uh, allow for any and all DLC that we download or skins, if we can resell them, then all and every DLC becomes an NFT because there's there's sellable value. Yeah. So if, if I'm spending 40 bucks every other month on fucking V-Bucks for my kids to buy a fucking skin or a dumbass dance in Fortnite, and at the end, they're like, you know what? I really don't use this skin anymore. Can I sell my skins for more V-Bucks? Obviously, it wouldn't be, 
you know, for like a one to one value. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, if if they did it that way, you would get a lot more value, and I think you would see an uptick in microtransactions because it would be a value for it. Yeah, they'd actually be in physical value in a way, right? Like a digital value. The hard for... thing would be to limit the pay to win scenario. Yeah. That so, definitely needs a control on that for sure. Yeah. That's what ruins games is pay to win. No one wants to fucking play a pay to win game. So, I mean, essentially, that's what, what everybody thinks um, pre orders, collector's editions, they believe they're pay to win because of, you know, oh, well, I got, I got double XP right off the bat, so I can start the game with double XP, but what a lot of people don't realize is, like, especially Call of Duty, most of the time when they do a launch weekend, mm-hmm. that first weekend is double XP. Yeah. So unless you get to play it early with double XP, it's you're, you're not really getting anything. Oh, I got a fancy gun. Right. All right. And, and that's why, like, some of those games that have the cosmetics, yeah, you look cooler, but you don't have the advantage of the other player. But it makes you feel happy when you're playing the game. It does, absolutely. I want something shiny or some cool tracers or some shit, for sure. Right. Just like any other gamer would. I think that's what makes, I mean, that's exactly what makes microtransactions popular is the shiny shit, the unicorns and the fucking lightsabers, you know, like all the cool shit that everybody wants. It's microtransactions. It's honestly a genius money-making idea for, you know, for gamers and stuff like that. Just us old school gamers, we're used to earning that or used to getting those things just by actually playing the game and earning those things instead of paying up front and getting them right away. Yeah. So, I mean... I kind of I wish, though... So, there's, there's a couple things. One is I wish that they would tell you uh, the percentage. The mm-hmm. likelihood of you getting that rare weapon. Because, like, we go through ESO, we go through dungeons... And how many times on the area chat are you? Do you have, um, you know, uh, looking for? Oh, dude, it's all over the place. Looking for this gun, looking or not gun, but looking for this sword, looking for this armor. Want to buy? WTB? WTB? Yes. It could and it's farming. just like, yeah. why are you limiting that? And you sitting and you make it a grind. It's like, I don't. I don't want that. I don't want the grind. How, how do you create a game and, and keep it entertaining and fun and eliminating the grind? You see, a lot of developers, I don't know if this is like a business model, but they, they uh, it's almost like it's programmed in the game to, to have a grind. Why? To keep that person playing that game. Yeah, yeah. So it's... every game has a grind air quotes, grind. Yes, so to speak. Yeah. Where it's it's a monotonous, repetitive thing that you have to do over and over again to obtain something that you really want. Now, instead of making it a grind, why don't you make it an extra hard level? Like, if you want this armor, you have to beat this dungeon on insane mode. Yeah, something... That's it. Just beat it once on insane mode. Don't make the armor resellable. Don't make it tradable. So that whoever's wearing that armor... They did their due diligence and played the game, beat the game, or beat that dungeon, and yes, they deserve the right to have that armor. Uh, and yeah, I agree. They they need to keep it to where the rarity is still there, where it's something special for that gamer that they earned, right. not that they paid for. Right. Like what I was trying to say is, is if you have choice and you make it more personal, personalized options allow me to have more choice and allow my choices to mean something and I notice the older I'm, uh, the, old, the older I'm getting and the more boomer I'm becoming <laughs> I like single player games that have morality choice if I like Fallout I love Fallout if somebody's sassing me and I've got a double barrel shotgun yes I won't I won't think twice to just pull it out and blast their face off you have arrived at your destination. Perhaps some important baby steps were made the last time the Cardinals took the field. And-
keep up with the top-scoring offense in the NFL, the Big Red D will have all they can handle. With quarterback phenom Patrick Mahomes and company, the Rooks better put their big boy pants on this week and may prove to be their toughest test all season. Cardinals, Chiefs. Zips one in, and McCole Hardman. Mahomes will keep it. And dive forward for first down yardage. Arizona defense right there. Zavin Collins. Mahomes being chased. And he'll throw. And it's Byron Murphy. Traveler throwing for it, and it is caught. Right back to Ross Travis. Or hold under pressure, locks one, and it is caught. McCall Hardman, unbelievable concentration. McKinnon, he'll walk into the end zone for the Kansas City touchdown. And that'll finish up the game for preseason. Kansas City Chiefs win 17 to 10. All right, now let's listen in to the ride home. You know, it's tight. It's shit like this that makes me like like Thanos. Yeah. Like he had a point. Snap his fucking fingers. Jesus. Be done with this. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, if this does, if this audio does go out to podcast listeners, I guess we tell them we're on the road on the way back from the football game at this point. Yeah. We're going back to our reality. Back to our reality. The last comp long conversation we had about video games was during on our way up to. On the way to the game. To the football game, yeah. We so. were happier, cheerful, <laughs> yeah. optimistic. Yeah. Now you come now you turn on this part of the show and now, we're yeah. all negative and shit. This is the doom and gloom part. Yeah, this is doom and gloom. Uh, this, this is the go fuck yourself, <laughs> fuck your feelings part. <laughs> fuck your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, I so, have to go back to reality. This fuck is, you. Yeah, this is the next day after we're not drinking and and, and others, we're sober. Yeah, we're sober. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like Fuck. We're going, and now we're we're sitting here with traffic, so there may be some road rage involved. So I just I don't understand. Like this last slowdown that we had, there was no accident. Everything just slowed down for no reason. Oh well, yeah. And it was like an invisible wall, and then everything sped up. It's, it's like, like there's well, ice the on the road. Fuck! Did we slow down? You know. There's fucking ice on the road in August. <laughs> it's stupid. Get it stupid. It's freaking hell out here. hundred and something. Well, it's just under a hundred. It like goes Phoenix. from 97 to 99. Phoenix felt like it was 110 or something like that. But it's a dry heat. Fuck that. Whoa, dude, it's way up there. The traffic is... I know. It's gonna be forever. Can't you fucking Phoenicians just stay home? So, dude... Live in your hell. Stay here. Live in your your choice. Hole. You wanted to live down here. Stay here. Fucking A. Let us get home. I wonder if some dumbass crashed way up there. I don't know. You know what I bet you it is? Hopefully it's a truck full of blow-up dolls that <laughs> crashed. Crash and there's the blow-up dolls all over the highway. Open oh. the door and grab a couple. And <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take a couple, dude. <laughs> Dude, we're getting video footage of that. We're going on Facebook Live, if you called it. There's a right. semi-truck and there's a bunch of blow-up dolls. We're going on Facebook Live, everybody. You'll, just wait. It'll happen. What if it's a truck full of dildos? No, just let them go. <laughs> just let them go. Just let them go. Hopefully they don't stick to your car. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They got suction cups. We're driving home. It's all like, whoop, 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 whoop. Sessie's like, why are there dildos all over your car? Don't ask. Dildo jousting on the, on the highway. <laughs> Dude, you know what sucks too? We're in this traffic and it's like a slow creep to our reality. You know that? Yeah. It's just a slow creep. It's life. It's like we're Back. slowly dying every day. Oh my God. It's getting more negative as we talk. <laughs> it's going to get dark <laughs> real fast. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. That's funny. It's just a slow creep. If you listen, if you're quiet enough, you can hear the wives nagging now. to water. I know. And we're like, what, 200, 200 miles from the house? Yep. No, not even 200. 
I can hear Jackie Lynn right now. Do the freaking dishes! It's hard to tell if our teams are going to be good when I we mean, know the Chiefs will be, but it, it, it's hard to tell. I wouldn't Cardinals. even say one. I mean, they played. Okay, yeah, we, Chiefs score played. points. It's they played it's a game pre-season. of football. It's like I said, it's a televised practice. Yeah. It's a scrimmage, exhibition match. No one was playing at 100% at all. No. Except for, except for the guys that were trying to get a job. The and I think that's quarter. what preseason is for. It's, it's for, for those, those for yeah. those guys. Yeah. yeah. They need they need their spot on the roster. Those last few spots. Some people shine. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. It was like uh, Derek Gore for the Chiefs. I mean, he was uh, towards the end of the game. He was. You couldn't tackle him. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and then have that Travis, that tight end. Oh, for, for, I don't Travis know why he's something. not like number two tight end on the, on the Cardinals. He that guy be. is like a he's monster huge. on the field. He makes everybody else look like peewee football shit. Yeah, I got to go back and look at his name. I was, I was fairly buzzing at that point. Dang. So. I mean, I was like, why is not he playing with Kyler Murray? He should be on the starting team. They should. Fuck. They should use him next week. To I see mean, what he's he going to be like a, a what's the, what's the ass hat on the Raiders? Waller, Weller, uh, Waller, Darren Weller, Waller. Uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That rookie number uh, eighty-three. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, I can't. He's remember their his number name. one receiver. Actually. Raider fans out there, you can correct us. We don't. Really no, care. don't correct. Me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. I yeah, care. I know. I know exactly who you're talking about. I don't remember his fucking name now. We all know who he is. He's the, only, he's the only best receiver on the team. Yeah, he's the only one that can catch a ball. I don't Other, know. Well, their running back's good, too, though. It's funny. Nelson went from the, the, the fucking Eagles and dropping passes to the Raiders, and all of a sudden he's got stick on his gloves, and he's catching all the he's passes. catching everything now. He's probably got stick on his gloves. I wouldn't put it past the Raiders. I think so, huh? Whatever. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, that, that, that tight end for the Cardinals, he's, he's a beast. He's a big boy, so we'll see. I mean, I mean, who, you, you, we don't have anybody else. You know, unless you got, you know, a uh, corner that's got, you know, a 12-foot vertical. <laughs> well, we got... <laughs> they, can, they can, like, jump higher than him and, and catch. You know, he's... he's you're not going to... He was much bigger than the players out there that were no, playing. I, know. I was that's like, I'm saying. Wow. He was, like... So much larger than the Cardinals that were on the field. Yeah. We immediately were like, who the fuck's that guy? Right? That one play, we're like, holy shit, he's huge. Yeah. And then the next play was the touchdown pass. And they threw it to him in the corner, and it was just like, holy hell. I was like, where did this guy come from? Yeah. And I bet you they're going to give him more reps next week. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're looking at him. Like, all right. What can this guy? Because we need it. Well, especially end. with the with the Saints secondary, I don't know. We'll see what they do. We need a tight end because there's a lot of the NFC West. They play those uh, dual threat tight ends that are in the end zone. You know, yeah. so we need to have that too. Is it the guy with the kayaks on top of his car that's slowing everybody else down? What the fuck? Well, you is can't going go. On? You can't go around him. No, it's not. I mean, he's in the right lane. I'm no, in the I left know. lane because I'm thinking that there's trucks no, trying to it. make it up the hill. But I don't understand. We're we're crawling at 50 in the normally an 80 plus zone. So I don't know, dude. I honestly. But think see, it's... look at the top of the hill. It's moving at the top of the hill. So there's something between there and here that's slowing down. Yes, I think it's the blow up doll truck, dude. Okay. Well, make sure you, you get ready. I'll get ready, dude. I'll hang out the side of the car door. And then I hope I grab her by her mouth. That would be pretty cool. No, just don't stretch it out too much. I won't. I won't. I don't want to ruin it. Right. I don't want to ruin the fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's John right now. His, his face is... He's know, shaking his head. He's shaking his head right now. And John has now turned off the podcast. <laughs> nope, I don't see any blow-up dolls yet. No. Maybe they're like the real ones, like the real dolls. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to take four of those. I'm going to stop the car, park yeah, the fucking load thing. The truck, We're dude. loading it up. Yeah. <laughs> I got tie downs in the back to tie them to the top of the car. Yeah, after the realistic ones. Fucking the realistic silicone titties, like. You know how I'm driving a flagstaff? You know how creepy that would be if they're all on a roof and shit? I guarantee you we're getting pulled over, dude. 
They're like, what? I is got a all blanket. This? I could throw the blanket over the top of them. Blanket, but make sure the blanket where the feet are sticking out. I have the feet showing just a little bit. And they'll look really suspicious that we got bodies up there. Put them in like some really nasty positions in the back of the car with the windows down. Yeah, like they're doing we'll shit. Ca- we're causing accidents. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. That's cool because like you can position them in like different poses and shit. I know, I know. It's so crazy. It's a three thousand dollar doll. Oh, so I'm not the only one that's actually looked up how much they cost. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're expensive, bro. They are fucking expensive. Wow, we're coming to a serious crawl now. Going yeah. seventeen. There's a there's gonna be a bicycle that's gonna pass us soon. No, there's there's gonna be somebody that overheats. Yeah, it's probably a dead semi truck that we're all going around with blow up on the top of the hill with the blow up dolls. Right. Well, I got the window ready, so if they're there, I'm just trying to get past this fucking truck. We'll collect them. I don't understand. It's almost like there's bots in cars purposefully slowing down for nothing. Right. It's, like, the, it's the Matrix, man. These NPCs need to get the fuck out of the way. Yep, I agree. Fucking NPCs, dude. We should do a t-shirt campaign. Player bullshit. Fuck NPCs. <laughs> yeah, actually, talking about that, too, is a good idea because of our last episode, I want a shirt that says, It was a nap! Exclamation point. John's beard on the back. Or like a nose ring on the back. How dope is that? With air quotes. Yes, it was a nap. Air quotes. We were napping. We were nap. Yeah, dude. Yeah. How sick would that be as a shirt? That's a bet. That dude. The saw one. Like, we do, and, it, and like, we only make a limited amount of those. I want one. You can do, it, like, a, a console drone shirt with, uh, like, the, the Black Power Ranger chair. Yeah, dude. And it's, like, broken in half and shit. Or just, like, yeah, team, team, uh, Power Ranger chair or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll have one that says Team John or Team Joker. Yeah, because like some of those, some of those things, like we just like figure out how we can make shirts from some of our good content that we have. Not a bad idea. That or get a shirt that's like nap so good your wife sucks her nose ring through her nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Since that's why I made that comment. I was like, uh, if it went in and she didn't blow it out of her nose that means there was a lot of suction going on yeah, in there. Yeah, a lot of pressure. Yeah. yeah was, mm. Dude, that was a solid fucking show, dude. That was funny. That was another what the fuck that I was going to say. I remember I was describing to Brian what your game room looked like and I said, you remember the VHS rental places where it said like adults only? <laughs> yeah, and I yeah, told yeah, him, yeah. I was like, fucking Chris's game room or game area looks like an adults only section with the black curtain and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 18 or older to enter, you yeah, know? <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome, dude. I made my game look like a little, you buy like your little pornos out of that yeah. in the 90s. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I, dude, now that makes me want to get that pearl curtain. Remember oh, like shit? the beads? Yeah. The bead curtains, dude. Now I want to fucking do that. Like, that's awesome, dude. Hell yeah. I should get all my DVDs and put that black cover on it, too. Yep. Like, <laughs> you're like, what is this shit? Jackie's going to be like, what the fuck are you doing in here? Or something. I hate this part of I-17. This is the worst part, too, to be going this slow. This is the part where they're supposed to um, build alternate routes for emergencies. So they're supposed to like do like two lanes that go into the hill yeah. for emergencies. So in case like if there's a crash or a they car can get wreck, out of here, get yeah, off this they can divert traffic if people aren't just fucking parked. No, watch. We get to the top of this hill and it's all green all the way to home. So right after this, let's get ready. There's Hold gonna on. be some blow up dolls up here. Hell yeah! I'm get. I'll roll down my window here. Get these blow up dolls. Just don't grab the, the sheep ones. I don't need a sheep. Yeah, we, yeah, or the alien ones. Those are weird. Those, well, I'll yeah. do an alien. I okay, I'll grab one. I alien. play Mass Effect. I'm okay, okay with I'll aliens. I'll grab the Mass Effect one for you. Okay. So, I, I call the darker skin doll, though. Okay, just say. That's okay. fine. Alright. <laughs> I call it dibs. I'm not a huge fan of blondes either. Okay, well. Gingers or brunettes, I'm good. Okay, I'll 
I'll grab, I'll grab, what do you want, two gingers and a brunette or whichever? They're coming up here soon. I kind of see, see a foot up there. I don't know if it's, it's one or not, but yeah. Stay Can't there. Be. You're not fucking getting over. It's what you fucking get for getting in the right lane, you bitch. Because I said I would, because <laughs> I said I would smack around the blow up doll. Oh, the doll. Blow up doll. Okay. I'm a, Punch it, Chewy. Yep, we're out of here. All right, I'm going to grab the blow-up dolls. There they are. Let me get I got to get it. <clears throat> get it out. Get it in the door. Hey, look behind us. Whoa. Was that smoke? I don't care. Did someone crash back there? I don't care. <laughs> I... fucking punched it. <laughs> dude, I was like, punch it, Chewy. Dude, I took off. I don't dude, give there's a like, fuck. There's like smoke and shit back there. I don't but care. right behind us. Nope. Oh. As long as it's in my rear view mirror, Somebody I Somebody went care. kaput, dude, on that hill. Let's go to the mountains. Go, go play in the water. And where it rains and there's green trees. It's beautiful out here. I'm so sick of the city. Oh, my God. Just fucking, oh, God, here. I'm fucking just playing the dirt and shit. And then I'm going to fucking light a fire and I'm going to leave it. Just fucking assholes. I'm going to go play in a creek and then get washed away by flash flood. Yeah, man, because I'm not, they don't fucking pay attention to the news. <laughs> shit, I'm Why sorry. is my phone making that noise? <laughs> what is that? What is that what noise? Is, what is that weather alert? What is this? I don't Flash to, flood. I don't need to read that. Let's keep swimming in the creek, bro. But it's not raining. <laughs> Why is there a flash flood, but it's not raining? I don't get it. I'm going to stay and play in the water. Yeah, it's nice and cool. Don't worry, I'll be back to my nice office job in Phoenix when I get out of here. And then, yeah. And they drown. Fuck, dude. There's a lot of that happening out there, too. Like, Well, how many assets have to die not paying fucking attention. hiking up the Superstition Mountains? That's like, how many times do we turn on the news and, oh, another hiker has died from heat exhaustion hiking the Superstition You're Mountains. You're like, let's go hiking. I'm going to go on a 15-mile hike, and I'm not going to bring a fucking ounce of water. Nothing. I'm just going <laughs> to... Oh, but I look cool because I don't have to wear my shirt. I'm look at wear me. My, my jogging shorts and I'm, no shirt. I'm vegan, so I'm gonna wear my have my shirt off, and I'm not even gonna wear shoes because the rubber. I heard that rubber from shoes cause cancer. I'm against that. It's man. bad for the environment. Fuck it. I'm gonna go. But you know what? No, I'm bringing water because I'm a man. <laughs> I'm gonna go hiking up the Superstition Mountains wearing Crocs. Just fucking. Crocs and a jock strap. Oh, the sound <laughs> of the sweaty feet squeaking in Crocs would be disgusting. Squeaky, the, squeaky, 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 what's squeaky, worse squeaky, about squeaky. it, dude, is the fucking smell when you're oh. done, dude. It's gnarly, dude. I hate when people in the summertime they wear those rubbery flip flops. Okay, so and it's growing up, gnarly. I used to hang out like my my dad had his stoner friends and their daughters. I used to hang out with them. Yeah. And they loved, absolutely loved jellies. I don't know if you remember what yeah, jellies were. Yeah, yeah, those, those flip flops that were like clear. They're like, yeah, clear sandals. Yeah, yeah. And uh -huh. they used to wear those shits all the time to the beach, to the store, to the drive in theater, everywhere. Man, just growing up with that, I don't know if I just got used to the smell of funky ass feet or what, but woo! Them jellies, man. Sessie's like, I want a pair of jellies. I'm like, the fuck you do? No, dude. This is smell like nasty. Feet smell is the worst. Uh, did you ever think, like, right now, as in 20, thinking, you know what? Back in 1995, you're like, 2021, there's going to be five fucking Dude, cars. I didn't think I was going to live past the age of 21. You didn't think so? No. No. You thought you were going to be dead when you are yeah. before 21? Yep. That's what you thought when you were a kid? Yeah. Man. I, I just wasn't optimistic. I wasn't about the future. I was all about the present. Man, we are peeling back some layers today, bro. What? <laughs> no, when, you when I was you younger, be... I was living in the present. I wasn't worried about the future because, like, that was the best life when I was younger. Didn't have any bills. You know, yeah, 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 I wanted a girlfriend at the time, and yeah, cool, but 
You so basically, you just didn't even think about your future. You didn't no, care. You just no. whatever happened happened. I was I was just living for the now. I wasn't living for what could be. And the older I get, yeah, I'm, now I'm thinking about the past more. <laughs> yeah, like it's like I don't want to live in the present right now. I want to live in the past. I think about the past too. Like what the fuck happened to time? You know what I mean? I think about all the fucking all the responsibilities and shit we got now. Like, God dang. It's funny, every time I start thinking about that shit, I always hear the Toys R Us theme song. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I'm always going to... Fucking every time yep. I think about the like the past and it's just like, fuck, I wish I would have stayed young forever. Well, you know what? I think that's what video games do, though, is that it keeps us young forever. You know what I mean? No, it allows still, us to escape reality. That's yeah, what it does. It, it does, but I mean, like, you still have that, like, it, it brings back some of your... Like, when we go and play some of the nostalgia stuff, it brings back some of that child, Oh yeah, the child in you is kind of like... Well, was kind of, at. and then you're like, I fucking played this game? Yeah, some of the this games... This shit game I played, <laughs> some and I enjoyed games. it? <laughs> Seriously, some of the games don't pan out the way we want it to. Fucking A, I still turn on Mega Man, and I'm like, I played this fucking game? I like this game? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. yeah, no, it's... Talk about sure. the original Rage Quit. That was fucking Mega Man. Dude, Mega Man's super hard. Well, I mean, Mario Brothers, too, but... That's the original Rage Quit. Fuck this game! It's Mario throwing that NES controller. Yep. And it didn't have a Joy-Con drift either. I thought about actually asking Dr. Squatch. Yeah, yeah. We can... Like emailing Dr. Squatch or like... Well, can we be sponsored? Because we're trying to make sure that gamers wash their assholes. Yeah. Well, I th- <laughs> what I think we should do... Because <laughs> there's so many gamers that don't wash their assholes. That don't... That smell like poop. Yeah, their, the rest of their body can be okay, but their assholes are like, yeah, like somebody smeared Nutella all on their ass crack. Oh my god. Yeah, there's some some gnarly kids out there that don't take care of their personal hygiene and we, as much as they should. By experience only, have we smelled these people? Yes, it's we're only not, by we're experience. Not, we're not assuming. This is by experience. I've been to multiple video game conventions. Yes. And they either smell like dirty wash rags or ass. Or B.O. Is a big or B.O. B.O. is a big one. They need to start like a, a, a gamer self-care kit. Yeah, dude. Like something with like fingernail clippers, toenail clippers, uh, deodorant, um, like a lotion, and then soap. And then make 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 it look like something that you would want to wash your ass with. I don't know. Yeah, but like Mega Man's blaster. Yeah, you know? dude. And you point it at your ass, and it just doom. <laughs> just fucking. And then it like zaps your ass with soap, and then you just rinse it off. And yeah, like clean. little. You have like little options on the gun. You click over like yeah. powder, and you click it over, and you powder your ass. You, you know, like stream or spray. <laughs> like on the on the. Yeah, so you want a direct stream or do you want it to spray? Yeah. <laughs> you can change the pressure and shit on it. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. You just made you just made something. You out have of that. a suction cup you can put it on the wall of your shower. Get on that. Or you dude. bend over in front of it and just set it to spray and just <laughs> or stream, whatever. I mean yeah, if it's dude. okay for cultures to use bidets, I don't see what the problem yeah, is. Yeah, dude, it's a mega man gun that you shove up your ass. Right. <laughs> Well, don't even, it doesn't have to be Mega Man if you're afraid of it. No, you know, if, you if you're don't afraid like of your homosexual feelings, we can make it uh, Samus, Metroid. You can Metroid it, dude. There you go. That's like a whole arm thing. <laughs> My ass was Metroided. <laughs> you just got Metroid primed, bro. Uh-huh. You, have you been primed yet? My ass is primed. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> <laughs> my ass is pride. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, fuck. Mom! My ass is pride! <laughs> Mom! It's a commercial, dude. We just made a commercial. Oh my god. It's lit. Making money hand and fist. If anybody wants to take these ideas, feel free. You, you gotta sponsor us, though. You gotta. I will totally sponsor a fucking Mega Man. Ass, ass blaster, <laughs> Mega Man, ass blaster. But they have to make it like a like a toy commercial. You know what I mean? Like Crossfire. Oh yeah, have to have the gimmicky. And the, yeah, like, you got to go '80s gimmicky with yeah. the look, mom, and he like blasts his ass like boom. 
Oh, God. That's inappropriate. That might get cut out of the show. <laughs> I don't care. I don't give a fuck either. Yeah, it's not inappropriate. <coughs> like I said, this is the fuck your feelings part of the show. We've already... Yeah, we've gone past... We're going back home, people. We're leaving our fun time to reality, so it's just going to get worse. The closer we get, it might just get worse and worse. Possibly. I think at, once we get out of traffic, I think our moods yeah, might lighten up. It'll change. Bit. It'll fucking change. Yeah, we just got to get up to the top of this fucking hill. We just got to be going faster than fucking 19 miles an hour. Fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> Fast as fuck. Let's go. And are they making us getting over? No. I, I see I see lights. I do too. We're at the accident spot. The dildo police. Oh dude, this is where dude these they should be coming up here. I better get ready. Yeah, yeah I better here get ready. Here comes the fun police, yeah. There, uh, hopefully the cops will let us grab a couple of these blow up dolls. I just want to be like, we want two. Should I tell them out the window? We'll take two please. I can open up the the, the roof. Yeah, so, tell them to drop them in here, dude. COVID. I don't want yeah, I don't Ready when yeah. you are, I'm gonna go grab the dog's cookies. <laughs> He's gonna go grab the dog's <laughs> I'm gonna cookies. go grab the dog's cookies. <laughs> Come here, bitch. This concludes another Couple Drones Gamer Talk podcast. Season 3, Biatch. <laughs> Now let's get out of here and destroy this whole universe. Continue here, watching. <laughs>